Sads, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to talk about something sad, which is sads, which is sudden adult death syndrome. Um, and I'm going to also talk about something strange from the David Lynch version of the film June. So stick around and listen. The report from Tiger Mountain. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to talk about SADS here at the report from Tiger Mountain, which is SAD, which is, uh, you know, apparently after everyone's gotten vaccinated for the last two years, there's now this kind of uprise of sudden adult death syndrome. I mean, I have no idea what, the, what, what could be causing that, ladies and gentlemen, but I do, I mean, obviously I'm somebody who studies media. You'll see a lot of films here behind me, books and stuff. I'm something of a culture vulture, um, you know, who studies cinema and movies and literature and music and stuff. So, you know, I can bring you a little bit of uh, knowledge from that kind of world of the, the aesthetic. And um, the work of David Lynch is always fascinating. He's been one of my favourite uh, um, directors, filmmakers, who I've watched his career over the last 40 years. Um, and he made a very interesting fil a version of June um, in the, uh, I guess, early to mid 80s. Um, and it, it, obviously there's the recent film version of June that happened. And obviously if you're familiar with the story of June, you know about it. But there's something very interesting um, that the Harkonnens, that the, the Harkonnens kind of represent the globalists. That is kind of greedy um, uh, group of uh, evil people uh, who are basically uh, in, in charge of uh, June. And they're kind of like um, stockpiling the spice and they're obsessed with wealth. And their leader is the Baron Harkonnen, which is a gigantic fat guy who's obviously obsessed with greed and accumulation and things like that. Anyway, uh, in the David Lynch version, the people who are, who are um, uh, Harkonnens have a thing called a heart plug. And basically, it, it's like this device. Uh, it's like a, it's almost like a little wire that goes down to your heart and it comes out to a little thing. And then if you kind of misbehave in, in, on the planet Giddy Prime, which is the home of the uh, Harkonnens, you pull this out and you drop dead. And, and I couldn't help think that this... Um, you know, SADS or whatever they call it is, is a little bit like the heart plug that was in David Lynch's version of June. It was actually something that Lynch put into his version of June and it's not in the new film and it's not even in the book. So it must be David Lynch's um, actual invention. I actually read the first three June books in lockdown because I had nothing else to do. So I thought I'd read them and they're great, by the way. You should all read them. They're fantastic books. I'm reading the fourth at the moment, God Emperor June. So uh, they were great books. But like, um, yes, the sad situation is fascinating. Um, uh, obviously, uh, people in the anti-vax community are saying it's a vaccine injury, and well, you know, they could well be right. I mean, this was the reason I think many people were anti-vaxxers, because they thought there's something wrong with them. Uh, obviously, from my own, obviously I, I, I speak on the show Cafe Locked Out, and I've examined this situation. It seems to me that the vaccine that is the most dangerous are the RNA ones, which is the Pfizer, and the... Um, the Pfizer and the Moderna. It seems that AstraZeneca, even though there's been some blood clotting relation issues in relation to that, doesn't seem to have uh, as many negative side effects. So if you're lucky enough to have just had AstraZeneca, and uh, I know people have even had the booster shots in AstraZeneca, so you can do that if you want to have your booster shots. Um, you can still get AstraZeneca for those. So uh, I haven't heard many problems, but I've heard a lot of problems in relation to the Pfizer. People have had um, pericarditis, people have had myocarditis, and also now, you know, you've seen a lot of celebrities just keel over dead at, at, at a age that seems rather young. Obviously, Shane Warne was one of them. There's been a whole, whole number of people who've just been dropping dead at an age that seems far too young. And then you have this uprise of sudden adult death syndrome, which, you know, sads, which is, which is terrible. What is the relation um, of this to the vaccine? Um, well, one thing you can be sure of, the mainstream media aren't going to talk about it, ladies and gentlemen. And that's, you know, sad. You know, so it's terrible, and um, I just wanted to bring your attention to it, and let's just see what happens. I mean, is it something that's um, just uh, going to be um, sudden, you know, like it says, sudden adult death syndrome, or is it going to be stick around? And, I mean, how long are people going to keep taking their boosters? I mean, when do people stop taking boosters? I mean, are people going to take boosters past the fourth one? Like, obviously, there's the two initial shots, then there's the first booster and second. Will people take a fifth? I don't know. I guess we'll have to wait till next year to find that out. But, um, you know, I think it could be related, and I think it certainly needs to be investigated, and I imagine science is investigating it, but whether we're going to hear about it, well, you're not going to hear about it on the mainstream news, as you well know. And that's all I've got to say on that, the sad situation, which is sad.